So, uh, let's actually do a couple of Bridge Master dailies in a row today. Because I had some issues with my audio uh, recording equipment this week and couldn't uh, upload anything. So, let's start with hand 7 and maybe go into hand 13, I guess. And let's see what we have here. So, East opens 3 spades, so East has a 7 card in spades and probably no... No opening strength, I guess. And we end up in six clubs, so we can afford one loser. We have a sure loser in hearts, because we don't have TAs. And we also have potentially even two losers. Maybe one loser if they are 3-2 in diamonds. But anyway, that's one loser too much. So... It seems quite natural to play the king on this trick in order to develop a spade will at least will surely have the ace if he if he uh preempts in spades so if he if he's placed the ace we can rough and then our queen would become high in theory I mean we can do that later also uh, it doesn't. We are not in a hurry to do this. But let's make a plan first, shall we? Uh, we could discard a diamond on our sh spade. But that doesn't yield us anything. That's the problem, because we still have a diamond loser. And we can't afford both a heart and a diamond loser. And a heart, sh heart loser? Surely we cannot avoid that one. Especially since North and South both have four cards in diamonds, meaning there's also no roughing potential in that suit. So, uh, I don't, I don't think avoiding the diamond loser is any feasible. And I don't think avoiding the heart loser is any feasible. But we need to avoid one of those. <laughs> so, am I missing some potential somewhere? And... The first thing I look towards is the hard suit, actually, because... Yes, if we drive out the ace with the king or the queen... The other one becomes a winner, the last one is no loser either, because we can... We can rough, but it's also no winner. <laughs> um... But... If we can... Persuade one opponent to play the ace without us... Investing either the king... Or the queen, then our last honor would be a winner. And on that winner, we could discard the diamond, and on the spade, winner which we will eventually, which we will inevitably get in north, we can toss the other diamond and avoid our diamond loser. Like that. So we need to find a way to make the opponents. Play the Ace of Hearts. Well, uh, we must lead a no heart then. There's no other, other option. We can choose either we lead a no heart from north or from south. And I think west should have the Ace of Hearts since east promise only spades and nothing else. I'm just thinking if, there, if there's any other difference, if in the leading a low heart from north versus from south. Or is there any clue who, that we can definitely say who, which opponent has the ace of hearts? If we lead a low heart from north at some point. And east, let's say east has the ace. If East plays the ace, then I, I've established two winners in hearts, and uh, I've, I have a spade winner also, and on 
on that spade riddle, I can talk a diamond. On on the heart riddle, I can talk the talk the other diamond. So that's actually fine. <laughs> but if Ace decides to not play the Ace, then I can win the trick with my Queen. And on the spade winner, I could then discard the four of hearts instead of a diamond and avoid having a hard loser altogether. And still have to hope the diamond split free too, of course. So I only have one diamond loser and not two. But. So, so I think leading a low heart from north works if east has the ace of hearts. Now what about West? If West has the Ace of Hearts, I should lead a low heart from South and it should work exactly the same actually. Yeah, if West takes the Ace, I have two winners in Hearts. On one I can toss a Diamond and on the other another Spade winner, which North has, I can tuck the other Diamond. And if West decides to duck the Ace of Hearts, the king will make the trick and on my spade winner I can then throw away the queen of hearts. Again, avoiding our heart loser altogether. So that those strategies seem to be equivalent. The question is now, who should I guess for the ace of hearts? And I'm not sure what kind of preempt they are playing the robots here. Yeah, and this also doesn't give me much information to work with, unfortunately. Fortunately, if I had to guess, I would have guessed for West. But I'm not sure if there's any clue for that that I'm not picking up on. I mean, Ace has a seven card suit in spades. And probably he has the Ace of spades, the Jack of spades, and no other others. Maybe a diamond, but also very likely he doesn't have any other others except for spades. The other question, so I would play West for the Ace of Hearts. The, the other question that I have at this point is, does it make a difference if I play the King of Spades now or later? Because the two of spades isn't a dummy for absolutely no reason. I can't imagine that. <laughs> well, if East plays the ace, don't think it makes any difference. If I play the king now and East plays the ace, my queen, my queen will become my spade winner. And, uh... But I can also develop that winner later, if I want to. The issue is what happens if East ducks this trick. So if I play the king and East ducks, I have a, I have a problem. Because I need to decide which card to throw away. And I just laid out two lines, and in one of these lines I have to throw away a diamond, and in the other one I have to throw away a heart. And I don't really want to decide now, because it depends on if West decides to play the Ace of Hearts or not. So I think I will wait with this decision and play the two and develop my Spade Winner, which I inevitably have anyway, later. I think that's the most sensible thing to do. I also need to worry about entries to dummy. So, I need both Trump entries, presumably. So, the five of clubs doesn't have any purpose, so I can use that to draw Trumps. So, now I draw one final round of Trumps and switch to Dummy. I guess I can always switch back with a diamond. But, on the other hand, maybe... I actually need three entries to dummy, don't I? If East, if West plays the Ace of Hearts and returns a diamond, let's say. 
Then I need to cash my Queen of Hearts, which is high. Then I need to switch to dummy and trumps. Cash the King of Hearts there. And then... Play Spade. And if East doesn't play the Ace, I throw away the other diamond. And if East plays the Ace, I rough. And I need to switch back to dummy for the other Trump entrance, yes. So I need both Trump entrances to dummy for this whole shtick if West plays the Ace. So I don't think I can afford to draw a second round of Trumps right now, because it would destroy one of my dummy entries. So let's play the Four of Hearts first. Yes, so East Ducks. Okay, I, I think I'm on the right track now. Right track now, because now I can... Well, maybe just draw a second round of Trumps for, for our safety. For our safety purposes, because I don't need both entries anymore. I only need one entry to cash my spade winner. And then start developing our spade winner to throw away the other heart. And to avoid having a heart, heart loser, because we won't avoid the diamond loser anymore. Yeah, East hops on with the ace, which is fine. We rough, and we switch back to dummy and trumps. And throw away our heart on his spade winner. Now we just need diamonds to, flit, to split 3-2, please. Of course they won't. Okay, what did I do wrong here? I don't think West threw away enough diamonds yet, did he? Or maybe East discarded some diamonds? Yes, okay. I, I, I should have noticed that, I didn't, but okay, it's alright. If East threw away two diamonds already, I could have immediately claimed, actually. So let's see the solution, if there's anything interesting to this hand. Yeah, play a low heart first. Yes, this is the important thing. If we play the Queen or King at trick 1, it, it seems equivalent, which it both, most of the time is, but it, if East is very... Well, if, if East has very imaginative thinking, King, he could duck it. And if he ducks it, I need to... I need to throw away my discard immediately. And I want to decide later what I want to discard. So that's the reason why this, the two of spades in trick one is important. It's a very, very rare play, but I see why it is important now. Because in one scenario we want to discard a heart, and in the other we want to discard a diamond. Yes, the rest of this explanation is pretty self-explanatory. Let's immediately go for the next hand. So it's a free down trump and the opponents haven't uh, bid anything, so there's no clue to be had there. <laughs> and in no trump I like to count winners first, of course. Which we do have in spades, two. In hearts, two. In clubs, two. That's six from nine. Yeah, if we can develop our clubs in dummy, of course we're safe. We could also be safe if we develop diamonds. The issue with the diamond plan being a hearts, like, we only have two stops in hearts, no matter how we play the hearts, because uh, both both of us have, have two cards in hearts. And that's a big issue because the opponents have nine hearts altogether, and one of them surely has five, and if one, and I, I said in the previous video, if one of them gets to play a five card suit for length in no trump, they beat three no trump, always. Again, they don't need to make all five tricks in that suit, specifically. But for every trick in that suit that we stop, that they don't make, they will make a trick in another suit if they get to play that suit, so... In the end, they will have five tricks if they have a suit of like five. And one opponent inevitably has five hearts, so... We cannot allow them to catch the hearts. 
and we need to make nine tricks before they can do so. So developing diamonds is no option. We could develop spades, but that will need, yield just two more tricks and we need three. Because we will lose the queen or the ten or the nine to the queen of spades. And then the other two will become winners, yes, but then we still have only eight tricks. So that's not good either. I mean, the, the hand looks very, very good. I mean, we have more than enough high card points in both hands, but the distribution is a bit unfavorable to us. And that makes this sort of interesting, I think, because purely on points, we would easily have enough power for free no Trump. Okay. Let's look further, shall we? Um... So I think we need to develop clubs. Now we could... We could just let the 10 go to the queen. And then all other clubs in dummy will have become winners. But we don't have a dummy entry anymore at that point. Because we can't play on diamonds. The opponents will be quicker in hearts than we are in diamonds. And uh, our ace king of hearts blocks the heart entry. So that's probably no good. Yes, I see a possibility here because I, I was wondering what the queen of hearts in dummy was all about. Because we have the ace and king and dummy in some order needs to pitch the two and the queen on those cards. So why is the queen even there? Because it doesn't provide an entry or anything. But the reason the queen is there is that I think we need the opponents to give dummy his entry with the queen later. So we, so we need to discard either our ace or our king of hearts. In order so when the opponents play in second round of hearts, that not we stop it, but Dummy stops it. So Dummy gets to play his long club suit. That's the, the thing. But I'm not sure what to do with spades and diamonds at this point. Maybe I will cash one spade for, for safety? Because I won't have an entry back to cash my spades. That's the problem. After I play the club suit, I have to play diamonds. And the opponents get the trick and get to play their long hearts. So my plan was to win this one in hand. Maybe just cash one spade or maybe two is even fine. But I think I need to cash one spade because I can only make six tricks in clubs and two in hearts. It's eight. I need one trick from another suit and I can't read my hand in spades. So I will do that immediately for now. Now is the question if the second round of spades accomplishes anything. I don't think so. So what I wanted to do now is to play clubs. And I don't want to let the 10 go actually or take it with the jack. Because then they win the queen, return a heart and I'm back stuck in my hand. So what I want to do is play the ace and king probably. Although the king isn't even necessary, I guess. And then just give up one club trick to the queen. But in the process, I, I will discard my ace of hearts. The reason being that if the opponents return a heart, it should be stopped not by me, but by dummy. So dummy then gets to play his club suit. Yeah. I mean, what happens if the opponent don't return a heart? That's also possible. They can make two tricks in diamonds, of course, always. But I don't really see any follow-up for them, and they... They will just develop my hand tricks when they play spades, for example. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just play the ace and king of clubs, maybe... Maybe the queen falls all on its own, and then the club suits just once. And we don't even need to discard our ace of hearts. So let's first discard the diamond.
Yeah, so the queen didn't fall, so now we need to give them a club trick and in the process discard our unimportant ace of hearts. And yeah, they don't. I think I'm on the right track because they don't even. They don't even return a heart, they return a spade. Now the question is, I think my diamonds in hand are actually equivalent to dummy. Yeah, dummy had 9, 10, jack, queen, and I had 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So dummy can, can get rid of all his diamonds, it doesn't matter. Because, because I in hand also stopped the diamond suit at some point. That's good, so that's... Let's just play two rounds of spades for now. Because I can't reach dummy on my own, unfortunately, to play his clubs. The opponents need to do that at some point. But I can discard all diamonds, I just said, and discard another diamond from dummy. Well, can I catch my spade winner? I probably can. I don't see uh, an immediate reason why not to. I mean, uh, we played four rounds of spades already. So Wes doesn't have a spade anymore, I think. Uh, he has one more, okay, but... Yeah, now we need to play a diamond, but I don't think that really matters. Since... Yeah, as soon as they play a heart, uh, they, are fin they are finished, because Dummy will get to catch his clubs. Alright. That wasn't too bad. It was just that one idea of discarding the Ace of Hearts on the clubs. So, we always have only two stoppers in hearts. That won't change. But what will change if, is if we stop it or if Dummy stops it. And if Dummy stops it, the opponents can't really play that suit. Diamonds is not a possibility, yes. A Jenison play, that's called. Nice. I I wasn't uh, sure, sure about the name of this thing. But, well, I'm not good with names. Also, in my job, I'm not really good with, with names and definitions. And also, it doesn't really matter to me, personally. I If I understand the mechanism, I'm fine. Yeah, okay, he catches two spades, but one also works, it says. I wanted to catch one so I can... Uh, well, maybe West has the Queen of Clubs and West returns the spade. In that case, he plays into my fork if I only catch one. Yeah, and we concede the club trick and throw away the other heart or not. That's the important step. Because now the opponents cannot return hearts because... Well, if they do, they give dummy enough tricks to win the contract. And of course they can return spades or diamonds, but they will, won't make more than four tricks. And that's the, that's the objective of the, the whole thing. We want to make nine tricks, we cannot let them have more than four. All right. Let's, let's go until head number ten, shall we? I think that's enough. So, oh, East has a four spade. Spade preempt, so he has probably eight spades. Which is pretty bad. Because West also needs a spade, meaning that West now probably doesn't have a spade anymore at this point. So we play five hearts, so we can't afford to lose two tricks. Which doesn't seem all that big of an issue on first sight. I mean, yes, diamonds could split for one and we could have a diamond loser. And we lose that first spade trick, and we possibly lose the Queen of Hearts, alright, so... So that's three possible losers, and we need to eliminate one of those. I should guess West for the Queen of Hearts, I think, I don't... I don't think East has any values except for his long spades. Yeah. 
So, financing a low heart towards West seems very reasonable. And we can finesse twice, even. But if East now takes his trick and returns his spade, maybe we need, should run 50 Ace of Hearts, because if West has the Queen, he can overruff and make his trump trick in that fashion, and then if diamonds are for one, we're toast. Because I don't see any winner in either clubs or spades to pitch a diamond from either hand. That won't never happen, so... Let's just see what East does. Yes, East takes that first trick. Damn it. So I think we need to trump 58 now, because if West... Overruffs with his queen, we are already toast if diamonds are for one. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing. We, we can't squeeze or anything, I mean... Probably East stops the club suit as well. East could be something like 8... 1-1-3, one, one, I suppose, maybe? Okay. That, of course, hurts a bit. Hurts a bit, because we can't draw trumps from West now, but... Alright, we can feed us twice. As long as West doesn't have our four missing hearts, we should be fine. Let's feed us. And of course, West has all four of them. <sighs> so this is going to be a big issue now, because we can finesse one more time in Trumps, and then we can catch the king. Is there any hope at this point, or did I already make a mistake? Well, if I roughed low, West would have over roughed for definitely. And I don't think diamond split 3-2, that's way too easy. So. Of course we can still hope for that and just give rest. Give rest his natural trump trick and then hope diamond split 3-2. But that, then it would be a level 5 end to be honest. We can't rough another spade now, because rest would over rough with his queen. So we have to play two rounds of clubs and, get, and rough a club. We could test diamonds. I don't think East has the long diamonds with his eight spades. It should be West. So roughing so a diamond getting roughed is not really a danger it is a danger I'm willing to t to accept. Yeah, just that test if the diamonds are three two for one or five five zero with West. They should be with West in some constellation. If they are 3-2, there's no problem. Then we can just draw the final trumps. Okay, East discards, and East also had a void in hearts. And East has exactly 8 spades, because West had the other spade. Meaning, we know East exact distribution, 8-0-1-4. Right? Yes, 8-0-1-4. So... East has an 8014 distribution. We think West had a 1444. Yes, 1444. So West has four diamonds. What do you do with with our diamonds? So what I want to accomplish is I was thinking all time about West, forcing West to lead his trumps, but he can do that even. <laughs> Doesn't really uh, seem all that inviting to me. I think West pitched a club on spades, right? So 
So East at this point only has only has black cards remaining. So what I'm actually thinking about right now is maybe using East. So what do I mean by that? Well, uh, if I play a Trump to finesse in Trumps against West, I. I'm not long enough to do that. I mean, I can do it once, yes. I could play two rounds of clubs and rough a club and then finesse in Trump. But West just plays low and uh, I, yes, I win the Jack and then I win the King of Trumps in Dummy. But West still has the Queen and still has a Diamond winner. And he will take the final two tricks with those. And we're done. So that's not really how it's supposed to go. What I'm thinking now is, could we feel that in Trump some, some other way? Maybe by leading a spade. Well, if we, if we lead a spade, So my idea is to just lead the spade and just pitch our diamond loser, which we'll lose anyway. And if West now buffs, he can do that with a low trump even, but then his, we can finesse his trumps. Then his trumps are short enough. And if West doesn't buff, let East make that trick. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, he's at some point just has to play spades because he, he has he has that many spades. And if he plays a spade back, nobody has a spade. Then I think we can finesse West by just trumping his south's hand instead of north's. Because if we then play a Trump 9, let's say, in South's hand. Well, if West under buffs, now, now we don't need to play our Jack or our King. We can throw away something else. A diamond, presumably, from North's hand. And if uh, West over buffs, well, that's easy. Then the Queen is, of course, caught. But yeah. But at that point, we should be down to three trumps and West. So West has three trumps and we should be down to three trumps as well. Meaning we have to now presumably rough a club first. To, yeah, I think that's the plan. Just play Ace King of Clubs. And they both should have three rounds of clubs left because I, I can count, count both their distributions. Like I just said, East has. 8014, West has 1444. Ruffle Club, switch back to dummy in diamonds. And now my plan was to just lead a spade from dummy and pitch our diamond loser, which we'll lose anyway. West pitches also, but now East is forced to lead another spade, and this was the point I was trying to reach because now I trump. And West under to under roughs, and we don't need to play a trump from North End. We can play the Six of Diamonds, that's the whole point. And now we can finesse. That was a very nice and very cool hand, I think. Yeah, I really, I really, really enjoyed that one. Let's see. So much so that I even think 
it's reasonable to stop right now because this is a good hand to finish on. So West had our four trumps and we couldn't uh, finesse finesse West enough because we needed to use our ace of trumps unfortunately to prevent him from overruffing. If if South roughs low, yeah, that's that's not good. I mean, I mean, it would be good for our trump control to rough low, but West could immediately over rough and we would be pretty surely down. Uh, yeah, we should just rough with the ace and just finesse. And now we see the 4 0 distribution. And now, now we have some big trouble, but we can still manage it. Yeah, we can't finesse trumps enough times to get West screen. But we need to get West screen because we can't afford, uh, afford a diamond loser. Because we can't avoid a diamond loser, I should say. <clears throat> yeah, we just catch two out of diamonds and see if diamonds split 3-2. I mean, if they split 3-2, the Trump loser is fine. We can just play the king and the jack of trumps and uh, accept the one Trump loser and make our contract that way. But now East discards the second round of diamonds. And that means that West not only had four trumps, but also had four diamonds. And that's, of course, a big a big issue for us. But we know what East had. Yeah, 8014, I said that. And Osmana play, that's a nice trump. I really like that one. I think I'm going to use that one in my... In my own play from now on. That <laughs> I didn't know that one. But uh, we just force East to play a black card, basically. Don't don't think it needs to be a spade. I think he has enough clubs. That it could also be a club, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, but we need to shorten our trump head by one, since West has only three trumps, and in that crucial crucial trick, we want to trump and want to force West to play one of his trumps, which is only the case if West has nothing else remaining, of course. So we also need to get down to three trumps. That's why we need to play three rounds of clubs right now to eliminate one of our trumps. So that it's not in the way, basically. And now we, we cross back in diamonds. Oh, we could also finesse in hearts, I guess. This may be easier. <laughs> I mean, crossing back in diamonds works because we know West can't rough here. We know West, we know West has four diamonds. I think both strategies are valid, but... Yeah, I mean, the easier way would be now to just finesse. To just finesse. Of course. Yeah, the last diamond is played, so now... And now comes the crucial moment where we will exit the spade, throw away our diamond loser, which we will lose anyway, no matter if we lose it now or later. But by that, we either force West to rough the spade, and if he roughs the spade, well, he exposes his queen, of course. And if he doesn't rough the spade and let East make the trick, well, yeah, West has two trumps, but East is forced to lead. And yes, East can lead either a spade or a club, like I said, but doesn't really matter which one he leads. We were rough in South's hand. And the crucial thing is that North isn't forced to play his trump because a spade or a club was played and not, and not a trump. If we play the trump ourselves, North, North would have no other choice than to play his king of hearts. And that's not... Not good, but if, if the trick starts by East playing spades or clubs, North can also pitch the diamond if West doesn't over rough, which is crucial. This is sort of a technicality in the rules of which, but... When we have not enough trumps in one hand, try, try to do the finesse like... Or the trick in which Trump isn't the asked suit, if you mean what I'm saying. In this case, the asked suit would be spades or hearts. I know, spades or clubs. 
Yeah, he says only black cards left and uh, if there's now underwaffs we can play the six of diamonds and aren't forced to play the king of hearts. And of course if there's overwaffs we play the king of hearts. Alright. I think that should be enough for today. See you later this week. Bye for now.